Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you're viewing this video from, we are so glad you are here. In this episode, Yasu and I are crossing two rivers to the Garden State of New Jersey. We expect traffic to be a little lighter due to what's going on, so hopefully it's a nice, easy, quick trip. Now today, we're going to the Japanese superstore Mitsuwa to grab some fresh ingredients for ramen. So look forward to that episode next. But today, grab your coffee, let's hop in the car, and we're gonna take a ride. Let's go. So what usually takes about 40 to 45 minutes only took about 30 to 35, so a little quicker today. Not complaining whatsoever. We finally made it to the Mitsuwa Marketplace. Mitsuwa is more than just a grocery store. If you look around, you can see they've got the Daiso, they've got a beauty salon, Shiseido, down there a couple restaurants. This place is awesome. Unfortunately though, what's going on is everything is shut down due to the virus. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll take you back here and we can actually show you how great this place is. But for now, let's get into the supermarket and let's buy our ingredients. In addition to the surrounding stores and businesses, more than just groceries and home supplies can be found inside the main store. Mitsuwa is home to not one, but two lovely food courts, a bakery, a number of restaurants, a matcha shop, and even a large sweets kiosk. So we're gonna need fresh sun noodles, garlic, ginger, enoki mushrooms, my favorite, baby bok choy, eggs, gochujang, tofu, sesame oil, chashu if you want, throw an egg on the top, should be good. Got your garlic, got your ginger. Essential for good ramen, in my opinion. Crazy salt. My favorite mushrooms. If you've never had them, you are going to love these mushrooms. Welcome to noodle country. Look at all of these options. I have never seen so many options in my life. Uh, we are choosing between shoyu, which is a soy sauce based Miso, which is miso based. This looks like oriental flavor. I think this is just kind of like a salt base. Down here we've got a seafood tonkatsu, which is seafood pork, or if you're not super into seafood, they do just have regular pork flavor. We pan to the right. Here you can see just the freshest, freshest noodles. They even have a thickness guide, which is awesome. If you don't have access to this wonderment, which in Brooklyn we actually do not, you can totally just use the pack ramen. The freeze dried stuff works just fine, don't fret. But since we're here, we may as well enjoy. We need a little honey to coat the tofu with. We actually just came across even more noodles. I love this place. Just as we were saying, all the fresh noodles on the other side, if you're not into that or if you don't have access, you can still use these cup noodles. The dry noodles work just as well. And boy, do they have a selection. Apple, wasabi apple, wasabi apple. 
gotta have that nice soft boiled egg for my ramen. It's gonna add just an extra little oomph to your ramen. Oh, the whole baby bok choy. Look at these little cuties. Oh. Accessories, you've got your rice pots, toaster ovens, coffee makers. Down the way, they've got pots, pans, lunch boxes, home goods. Pretty much everything you need is here in Mitsuwa. This is my first time in Mitsuwa. I really hope it's not my last. I want to come back when everything is open. This has been I know it's just a grocery store, but this has been awesome. I love, love this place. If you have a chance, it's worth a visit. It just keeps getting better. Look at this view. You can go into the shop, get yourself some food, bring it out here and just enjoy nature. I love this place! <laughs> it's rolling! So as we mentioned before when we arrived, there is way more to this area than just the supermarket. We've got all these great stores right here. It's Kinokuniya, famous bookstore in Japan. Next to that, not quite there yet, but we've got Little Japan for all your niche souvenirs, all the cute little toys, anything you can think of like that. Beyond there, we've got the beauty store Shiseido, Daiso for just your, your cheap homewares. If your teeth are hurting, right above that is a dentist office. There's just so much great stuff in this area. Unfortunately, again, it's all closed, but that just means we're gonna have to come back. And when we come back, we want you to join us so you can enjoy it as well. So we'll see you next time for another bite out of the wasabi apple.